Good people, welcome to another Fiddlehead Fiddle Lesson. Let's do the song Road to Lisden Verna. It's an Irish jig. I'm going to play the whole thing in a medium tempo, then we'll break it down note by note, phrase by phrase after that. So, first thing you can do for this and for any tune is to learn the scale that it uses and warm up with that a little bit. So for this tune it would be D major, alright, it would be the kind of the parent scale. But um, without getting into too much theory, this song actually uses a minor mode of that. Um, and basically you play the same scale, but it would be E Dorian if you start on D1. One, two, three. And just go up to open E. Alright, so um, anyhow, uh, doing that scale, the D major and or the E Dorian will warm you up nicely. It'll, you kind of start to hear the notes better and your fingers will kind of be feeling the notes better already at that point. So let's just get started. I'm going to play for you the entire first quarter of the A part to Road to Liz and Verna. Okay, so we're going to start with D1 going to A1. And it's a long short. I'm going to add another A1 and then an open A. Here's that again. All right. For now, you can just do separate bows back and forth. Later in the lesson, I'll su suggest some bowing patterns, some slur patterns. So here, so far, we have long, short, long, short. That's followed by an A string. One, two, three. A long, short, extra long. That last one gets three beats. One, two, three, one, like that. All right, so I'm not gonna slowly play the um, first quarter again. All right, um, let's move on to the second quarter of the A part. So that's going to start D2 going to A. Long, short, and then three short notes open A, one open A. So, so far in the second quarter, we have. All right. That's going to be followed by open D to one, long, short, and then two, one open on D. Putting those two things together, we have. There's that again. Before that, we had starting D2. And then. Let's put that together, the second quarter. Good. All right. All right. Let's move on to the third quarter. Guess what? It's the same as the first quarter. So if you really practice that first quarter, you're in good shape now. Um, let's do the entire fourth quarter of the A part. All 
Okay, so that starts A2, and we're gonna go two, three, two, and then a long note on one to open A. Let's put that together. And do that again. And then we end with A1 going to D1. Alright. So the whole fourth quarter again. I'm now going to play the entire A part very slowly. If any of the individual parts are you're unsure of, you may want to pause at this point and review them. Go back and review them. And I'm going to start it with, so when I first showed you the first quarter, we started with D1. So what I'm going to do is start with a little pickup note of open D. And that comes in on six like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna count in. You'll come in if you wanna do the pickup. You don't have to do the pickup, but if you want to, you can come in with that open D on beat six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that about covers the A part. Let's move on to the B part. I'll do the entire first quarter for you. Okay, it's gonna start a long note on E to one on E. And then low to one open. Let's put those together. Again. That's followed by A3 to uh, A1. Long, short. And then we're gonna do um, one, two, three on A. So this next piece, or the next bar. Again. Before that we had, then we have, now let's go back and play the entire first quarter of the B part again. Very good. Why don't we um, do it three times in a row, we're going to loop on it continuously. And the reason is if you get this, this is the same exact thing as the third quarter of the B part, so you already will know a lot of the tune. All right, so let's right now loop on that first quarter of the B part. So I think that there's a few practice ideas and that you can use in your, your practice at home playing fiddle and looping is a great one. It's one of the best things I have to offer you as an online fiddle teacher. If you do nothing, you get nothing out of these lessons but that, that would be a great thing. Because doing looping, the idea behind it is after a while you're not having to think about all these things, you're not having to think about what notes come next, how you look, um, anything like that. You're just playing that. You're just kind of one with that music is what happens to that process of looping, looping. So I really encourage you to do that. It'll also help you remember things better, you know, especially if you loop on the beginning of a part, then that's sort of like, once you hear that, 
you've put in your you've kind of you know established that pattern you'll remember it better all right so let's get back to our tune that was the first quarter i'm not going to play the entire second quarter of the b part starting a2 to open a long short and then we're gonna do another open A, one, two. So putting that together, we have. Okay. That's followed by A, three to one, long, short. All right, and then an extra long note on that last one. One, two, three. Okay, so once again, I'll play the entire second quarter. Actually, let's break it down again. It starts with. And then we do. Let's do the entire second quarter again. Good. Third quarter is the same as the first, but I'll do it again. So since you looped on that with me earlier, you probably are a master of that part by now. And then the fourth quarter of the B part is the same as the fourth quarter of the A part. Okay, so I'm not even going to go over that, mu that much because I already showed it to you. Let's now do the entire B part very slowly. Count you in six. One, two, three, four, five, six. see let's see um you have the whole tune I just want to talk about a few Boeing things actually one main Boeing thing that you can do on this so we can do slurs with the bow and it should play more than one note in a bow you can do like thousands of notes in one bow depending on how fast you move your fingers we're going to do three to a bow for a lot of this tune, all right? Works out nicely. Actually, that's not true. Um, we're going to do basically, um, how to explain this? We're going to slur three eighth notes, or whenever we have a quarter plus an eighth, we're going to slur that, or a long short we're going to slur, or a three note pattern we're going to slur. All right, so I'm gonna kind of work through the tune and do the slur patterns. The first quarter was this without slurs. Now we're gonna add slur and then up and then down and then up. So the slurs are coming every one, two, three. On every one, that's another way to think about it. One, two, three. Now up, two. Another good idea, let's just loop on this with slurs. If you get the first quarter with slurs, I think the rest will come easy. So let's take a moment to loop on that. Again. Again, after you do that a while, won't have to think as much about it, you'll just be able to do it. Um, so another part we could do with that would be... You'll see how that slur pattern of, of always like one, two, three, one, two, three, one is, is holding throughout, throughout. And then again on the third quarter. Fourth. 
And I'll go to the first to the B part, same thing. So you could do this slur three pattern throughout the entire tune, simply put. Um, but remember, bowings are just a suggestion. They're a very personal thing. You can Everybody approaches it differently. Some people will bow it. I'll probably bow it differently every time. I'll be doing different things too, different every time on the tune. And so that will be part of why I bow it differently. But you could, you could mix up doing separate bows and slur bows as well. just according to how you feel. The bowing changes the texture. So slurs make things a little bit more smooth versus separate bows. Which sounds slightly choppier. And I don't really think one is better than the other. They're just different. All right, so anyhow, you could just, if you want to work on slur three, I'll, I'll put a link to vi a video that goes more into depth on that. But there's a simple exercise you can do to get that. That's just going open one, two on a down bow, and then up two on an open. And do it at different speeds. All right, and uh, that will unlock the slur three pattern. Okay, well, I'm glad you made it to the end of another Fiddlehead Fiddle Lesson. This is a fun tune. It's not as hard as some of the other ones, so it'd be a good one to do. You can play it with, you know, in a set with O'Keefe Slide or some other jig. And uh, I hope you have lots of fun with it. Okay, see you next time.